What is going on guys and welcome back to the final episode of season one here on this Southampton career mode of FIFA 21. Today we have a double header where we're going to be first taking on Leeds United who are I think probably relegated at this point 17th in the division with three games to go and then we have the final game of the season against Tottenham Hotspurs which could be crucial for our Champions League spots. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at what happened since the last episode, we can go ahead over to the calendar and take a look at the result. It was in fact a defeat. I somehow lost to Fulham by two goals to one. They've been mid-table this season and on the day they were just a better team overall. Decador Redu opened the scoring after the half and now a mark and the defender just went for the ball with the wrong foot there and it just opened up for Decky Redu the back post to tap them into the lead. Suarez went and got another goal for the season after a couple of attempts here and tying Mo Salah's 32 goals in a Premier League season, putting him just one away from breaking the record. He's got two games to do it and I'm pretty sure that he's going to be able to do that, hopefully today against Leeds. Um, but we did ahead and lose this game. Antonio scored the winner and uh, it sets the table looking like this going into our final two games of the season. Spurs have still got another game to play on top of that. They've got a, a game in hand against West Ham, but they do have Liverpool up next in the league on the same day that we're taking on Leeds. So it's going to be an interesting afternoon for us in this first game. As you see, Liverpool top of the table, a point against Spurs in this game will in fact put them as champions. And Spurs, they need to win. They need to then beat West Ham and beat us at the end of the season as well if they want Champions League football. Chelsea are just three points behind us, hoping that we slip up against Spurs or Leeds as well. So it's all still to play for in these final two games. So let's get ahead. Uh, let's go ahead and get into this first game against Leeds United at home and hopefully on a day where we can secure Champions League football for next season. 32 goal man will get us kicked off. Suarez, LJ Suarez, the boy. He's going to get us on away here against Leeds who are coming after a very poor season. Facing relegation, I didn't actually check to see if they were already down or anything like that. Actually, I'm too concentrated on our job at hand, and this is Ricky Pitwick coming forward. Now he's going to find Suarez. Now, actually, these kits clash a little bit. Why is there... I thought they had a black kit on. It's It's gone red, and we've got black shorts on. It's making it pretty difficult. Hopefully, we can get used to that. But so far, good football. By us. We're keeping possession early on here. Here's Todd Cantwell down the left-hand side into Suarez. Bertrand, oh, see there, ah, I thought he was on my team and he wasn't. When I looked up, it wasn't Puig, it was Hernandez stood there and would give the ball away. And here's Rafinha. Great tackle, Van Housen. Oh, that's been thrown away by the goalkeeper and Cantwell. Wow. I haven't seen an update on the uh, Liverpool-Tottenham game yet. At half-time, we'll definitely be checking that. Scoreline. See if Liverpool are going to win the league today and do us a massive favour in the process. Here's Calvin Phillips. It's uh, Nick that there from War Prowse who tried to just flick it over the top of him down the right hand side. They're going to go back into Urente and Phillips again. This cross is blocked by Ryan Bertrand. Half an hour into this game and not much gold mouth action so far for either side. Keep playing it wide. Ricky Pirig bursts away. Three men forward. It's Ihatar and Suarez. And Bertrand was for some reason involved in the move. It's actually going to work out as he pumps it long. Sunday League style. Get it forward. Suarez low cross. It's going to be a corner. Maybe a chance here for the big man to get up from the back. And finally, get a shot on goal. And an earlier attempt from Todd Gantwell went absolutely nowhere. Bit of movement in the box then, boys. Let's see what we've got. Delivery needs to be good from Captain War Prowse. And it comes towards the front post and Phillips heads away. Try again. Movement again, please, boys, in the middle. War Prowse towards the front post. It might still fall for a red shirt. It will. Ihatarin will pick it up. Phillips tries to tackle. Ihatarin evades. Don't know what that was. And that's Van Housden. He's the centre-back. No danger for the goalkeeper. We're almost half-time here. And the centre-back with a volley from 20 yards is the best chance of the game so far. Says a lot about this one. We need to be better in the second half. Harrison's just going to pump that long. 
Oh, we've thrown that away. Oh my, no, 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 not like the, what is happening? What has just happened? I don't believe it. I actually don't believe it on the stroke of half time. I mean, they've just punted this long. Keeper catches it. Nothing happening. We're going to roll it out. Goes to the wrong player. The keeper then just... I don't know what he's doing there. I, don't, I think he's lost. I think he's close to the... If, he thinks he's close to the goal than he is. He's just... Toe poked this one. I mean, what is... Just what, turn around and catch the ball. Chase it. Pick it up. Oh, my God. Disappointment. Right on the stroke of half time for us. Pablo Hernandez. Makes it 1-0 leads. A gift. Oh, there's the scores at half-time. It's 1-1 between Liverpool and Spurs, which is going to be enough for Liverpool to secure the title at Anfield, but not enough for Spurs, really. They need the three points here, and uh, Chelsea's also drawing, so our defeat here, or our possible defeat here, doesn't look too bad at the end of the day if both them sides draw. It's going to still give us an opportunity. But if we lose here today and Chelsea and Spurs both win, we're in deep trouble going into the final day of the season, especially if Spurs can also beat West Ham in that game in hand. Either way, we're going to have to win this game in the second half. 45 minutes of football, please, boys. Maybe changes are going to be needed in the second half. Bednarak doing some honest work in the middle of the park and tries to turn playmaker. Doesn't work out. Puig picking up a loose ball. Can we find a pass? Oh, that is wonderful to Diata. Low ball across. Surely for Suarez it is. Goal number 33. And the equaliser today. Just absolutely beautiful. Puig's pass into Diata is an absolute worldie of a ball. Diata first time ball across. Don't let the defenders get set. Suarez just finds the back of the net as he's done all season. 33 confirmed goals. Unreal in his first season for us. We're going to expect a bit of interest, I'm sure, from all the clubs next season from him. They're not going to be able to pry away our main man for sure. We'll do our best to keep hold of him. Hod Cantwell's clearance is actually a world-class pass. Did you just see that? Is Diata, where has Leeds dropped off to here? It's Iatarin and Ward Prowse has all the room in the world and it's 2-1. I mean, as easy as that, Leeds have just, I don't know where they was going. Diata had 40 yards of space. He just dropped off to the edge of the 18-yard box. Midfield was nowhere to be seen. James Ward Prowse, with one of the easiest finishes he's likely to see. Iatarin just turns, plays it over, simple touch, tap it in, 2-1. And Champions League football is on the cusp now for sure. Simple finish by the captain, Ward Browse. Walker Peters, Ricky Puig, and Diata again. That partnership is just unreal right now. And Suarez is making his way into the box, and it's going to happen again. Surely not, it is. It's pretty much the same move, the same trio. And Suarez extends the competition record to 34 goals. Barardi for Leeds. Rafinha down the middle. Phillips, Rodrigo, tackle's going to go in, referee said that's a good tackle, I don't think it was, it was probably a free kick, if I've ever seen one, here's Ailing with a chance, and he's put it wide, and that is a full-time whistle, it is three big points for us, does it mean Champions League football though, we'll find out, on the result at Anfield, of course, the Chelsea game as well, because Chelsea are only three points behind us. I think if they win, they remain three points going into the last day. So even if Spurs have lost, Chelsea still could overtake us on the final day if we lose to Spurs, if they have beaten Fulham. And we're going to get a look at the scores right now. Liverpool beat Spurs 3-2 to win the league, but Chelsea have beaten Fulham. By two goals to one as well. A little bit of good news. It's the Thiago Almeida is back in training. We've also got a scout report on Christopher Nkwonku, one of the guys who was recommended. And I was thinking about maybe for next season. That's a lot of money. We'll, we'll see what we've got, of course. 
And here we are then, final day of the season. We're taking on Spurs away from home and they are not in the running for Champions League places after that defeat to Liverpool. It's between us and Chelsea now to secure those final two spots. Man City can actually still finish above United. That's, um, that's a little bit disappointing from United. They were chasing the title and of course let that one slip dramatically and now could finish third. Uh, a chance for us to claim 76 points this season, which is not a bad return at all. We still have to go through Spurs, of course, and hope Chelsea don't pick up three points on the final day of the season. We just need one. Chelsea are playing Burnley at Turf Moor, and Burnley are currently 15th in the league. Nine wins, eight draws, and 20 defeats. So Chelsea expected to win that one. And we have the better goal difference, so... Even with a defeat, you could probably say that Champions League football is ours, but we'll not rest easy on that one. We're going to go ahead and go for the points here against Spurs. Make sure there's no doubt left in anyone's mind that that fourth place was ours. Spurs will get us underway. Vinicius to us also. On the final day of the Premier League season, we have the record competition goal scoring in our ranks. Can he add to it? Can he stretch his lead as the record scorer? and give us Champions League football next season. It's pretty much already there. We have to lose this one dramatically, with Chelsea win dramatically, I think, for us to flop Champions League places. It's Hyun Min Son. He's been good for Spurs this season, scoring 20 plus goals for them. He's been their number one man. I mean, with Vinicius not doing the best this season up front for them, they would probably be looking at Luis Suarez as the replacement for that Harry Kane missing figure up front for them. Here's Diata. His cross is going to be blocked. Spurs trying to work it. And that might actually be onside against Son here. Brilliant ball. Coming Son on the left-hand side for Spurs. Puts it back. Stepped over. Back to Son again from Vinicius. Pirwick timed his tackle beautifully. What are you saying, ref? You've got to be kidding me. That's a wonderful challenge from Pirwick, surely. Referees give the pen. What's, what is wrong with that? That's what I'm saying, man. And Hyunmin Son's going to take this and give a gift. Not again. Coffee. Not going to save it. Doesn't matter. Over the top by Hyunmin Son. Just as I think served. That was never a pen. And Son's a good guy, you know. He knew it wasn't a pen. Clears the ball. Right thing done. Respect back for Hyunmin Son. Didn't go down. He didn't want the pen in the first place. And, uh, that was more of a, a foul than the Ricky Pooing tackle a second ago. That's pushing down this left-hand side again. That's also to Lema. Hyunmin Son. Walker Peters. Can't dispossess him. And still Son coming forward. Can see why he's the danger man and their top goal scorer. But enough bodies back there will do the job for us. And here's Ihatarin. We'll look for Doku, but and find him with a pass. Ball forward towards Vinicius. Is there one more chance? There isn't. It's half time. No nil, nil. Quiet first half, to say the least. Chelsea are beating Burnley by a goal to nil, but we with a point here, we'll still finish a point ahead of them. Chelsea are doing their best to get Champions League football next season. We need to go ahead and win this game. To Vinicius, Hoiberg, Ednarak with a challenge. What well, Prowse is going to dispossess and find a pass to Jeremy Doku and Serge Aurier had pushed up and left room here for Doku. And it's Suarez who brings it in and couldn't quite get the shot away cleanly. Walker Peters wins it back for us. Keep her through the middle. Who is this man? Ricky Puig is unreal right now. And he's still going to keep going. It's Ricky Puig against Spurs. And he's not going to get the finish. But through the middle, this man is unreal. His passing is insane. He just carved Spurs open. He couldn't quite get the strike away clean enough to beat Lloris. But test his hands nevertheless. And we now have a chance from a corner. Mourinho making changes. And it's going to be Vinicius, the striker, who's going to be replaced here. Teciasito to Lo Celso. And now a chance for Drews Mertens to get involved for the first time. He's going to get the ball into the box. Chance for Hyunmin Son. He's going to score. Spurs lead. 
This is not good. I don't think there's enough for 10 more, which I think Chelsea are going to need. Depends if it goes down a head-to-head -head rule. I'm not sure if the Premier League have changed it. I'm pretty sure it's still goal difference. I'm hoping it is because we're behind and Chelsea were in front. Bednarak absolutely had to time that tackle correctly or he probably would have been off. And that's a brilliant touch from Diata, who's smacked down to the floor. And Thiago Almeida for Jeremy Doku. Almeida coming on the left-hand side. Let's try this. Back from his knee injuries, can he make an impact? This is probably the wrong decision. Let's hope he doesn't re-injure that after such a long timeout. That would be awful. Here's Ricky Puig. Ball in towards Suarez. That is there, and that's going to be a foul against Crepin. Unfortunately, and he's going to find Thiago Almeida, and Almeida, oh, I thought he was about to make the impact we wanted him to, but unfortunately, the finish was off. Bednarak, wonderful challenge from him. There's Ward Prowse, Hatterans going in behind here, goalkeeper's not coming for it, and left Joe Gomez to deal with it. Marcelso, flinging out wide to Stephen Bergwin. Whiteberg will find Dries Mertens, who is going to punish his want, and that's going to not be a red card because Lo Celso's in here. And it's 2-0 to Spurs. I mean, can we go back and give Ben out the red card and take a free kick instead? Ah, this has not ended well. To... Yeah, this has not ended well at all the season. That's what I was going to say. The season has not ended well at all for us. McCarthy just beaten Giovanni Lo Celso. We are 2 0 down. And is that a 2 0 defeat on the final day of the season away from home? And with Chelsea winning, it means we will go level on points. Does it mean that we don't get Champions League football next season? Let's hope not. But there it is. Fourth place is ours. We have Champions League football. We finished 10 points behind Manchester United, who actually ended up finishing third. A disappointing end to the season. They lost to West Ham on the final day. Liverpool beat Burnley to extend their points total to 95. City finished on 84, second in the league. And we finished with that Champions League spot thanks to our goal difference. Five goals only. I mean, it was tighter than I thought. We uh, didn't end strongly at all. Probably just burnt out maybe towards the end of the season. Suarez finishes with a record amount of goals for the season. We finish with Champions League football next year as well. I hope Chelsea aren't in the FA Cup final. Maybe I should check that quickly before we end to see if Chelsea can still get Champions League football through winning the FA Cup. How do I find that out? What am I doing? I mean, I was on the right place before. I'm just scrolling FIFA for no reason. Here's the FA Cup. Wasn't that difficult to find at all. It's Liverpool versus Sheffield United. So maybe Sheffield United could also try and cock us. But I think Liverpool are going to win the FA Cup there. Let's hope so anyway. But it is going to be a Champions League campaign next year. Next episode, of course, will be Season 2. So make sure you come back for that. Any transfer suggestions for Season 2, I'm now taking in the comments. So make sure you go ahead and leave a suggestion. I'm not sure how much money we're going to have or anything like that. We'll find that out next episode as well. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one very soon.